welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to share with you some super easy and helpful tips on looking after your hair extensions so this is my second time getting hair extensions and this is the first time i actually got an aftercare leaflet and some tips on looking after my hair extensions and after reading these tips i have been so so careful to actually follow them and look after the hair extensions so i can keep them for longer so tip number one is brush before washing so before washing your hair, I suggest that you brush your extensions to remove any tangles. This is something so easy to do and it's going to make the washing process easier for you. Tip number two is to use a moisture rich shampoo and conditioner. When it comes to washing your hair extensions another tip is to avoid scrubbing and rubbing them harshly and i would also suggest using warm water instead of hot water tip number three is to use hair oils and leave-in conditioners i like to use hair oils maybe every second time i wash my hair that can help avoid dryness and keep your extensions moisturized so tip number four is to wait for your hair to be almost dry naturally you should wait Wait until your hair is about 80-90% dry on its own and then dry it with a hair dryer. So after washing your hair you should just gently squeeze the water out of your hair and wrap a towel around it or just put it up with a hair clip. What I like to do is to do my makeup or do something around the house and just wait until my hair is about 80% dry and then use a hair dryer to make sure it's fully dry. Tip number five is to use heat protection. If you can, try to avoid heat damage by using tools like a hair straightener or a blow dryer. But if you are someone like me and you like to straighten or curl your hair, what you can do is to use some sort of heat protection spray. So these are the sprays that I have and I have been using this one lately. So this spray is really good for your hair if you want some extra shine. It's also good for detangling and it has heat protection as well. So I like to spray this mostly on the ends of my hair. Another option is this heat protection spray. You can use this on both wet or dry hair which is why I like this one. Tip number Number six is to look after your hair when you are sleeping. So to prevent your hair extensions and your hair from tangling, something you can do is to braid your hair loosely or put it in a ponytail before going to sleep. And another really helpful thing for sleeping is to change your pillowcases. And I recommend getting a good quality soft silk pillowcase. This is not only good for your hair but it's also good for your skin and your face. Tip number seven is deep conditioning. I already mentioned that keeping your hair extensions moisturized is super important and this is the reason I suggest that you use a deep conditioning treatment at least once a week. So this is the one I have been using and I can really tell the difference between using a product like this and just a normal conditioner. So all you have to do is to apply this product after washing your hair and you can leave it on for about five minutes and then rinse it out but if you want a more nourishing and intense treatment you can leave it on for 20 minutes and the next tip is to use a soft brush this brush is just the best it makes brushing my hair out so much easier so what I like to do is to roughly brush my hair out with one of these combs when it comes to brushing, make sure you start from the end and work your way up. This is going to make it easier to brush your hair out. And after drying my hair, I like to use this brush. In LA, 24 twice. She's on the phone, but she's staying on. Will shop Boulevard, old dreams die in heart. It wants you to return. 
don't really know this brand I actually got this from my mom and she bought it from Romania you can find loads of brushes similar to this one just make sure it's something that it's not too harsh on your hair so we have a few more tips left and tip number nine is to protect from sun exposure so prolonged exposure to the sun can cause your extensions to fade and dry out if you are going on a holiday make sure to pack a hat with you and if you don't want to wear a hat to protect your extensions from the sun you can also try a UV protectant spray I'm not saying that you have to be scared of the sun what you have to be careful with is spending a long time out in the sun because this will dry your hair out so this is just something to be mindful of tip number 10 is to be careful when using purple or silver shampoo so if you have blonde hair like me and you like to use silver shampoo there are a few things I would like to mention when using them so these are two products that I have and to be honest this has been my absolute favorite it works so well and it works so so quickly as well I only have to leave it on my hair for about one minute and I don't have to use it too often either because it really has a lasting effect I have also tried this purple shampoo before but to be honest this just does not work for my hair I did not see any changes from it so this silver shampoo is honestly the best I have ever used and the one that works best for me depending on your hair you might find one that works better for you but this is just my personal favorite so when using a silver shampoo a very important thing is not to leave it on your extensions for too long so what I like to do is to apply the product on my natural hair first and only after that to the extensions so I make sure that I don't leave it on the extensions for too long just because they work even faster on the extensions than on your natural hair avoid overwashing your hair so unlike natural hair hair extensions don't produce natural oils which is why overwashing your hair can strip away moisture and lead to dryness which is why I would recommend washing your hair only once a week I know this can be really hard it is for me for sure but I I do have some tips so during the week when I feel like my hair already needs a wash which is after about two or three days what I like to do is to only wash the top of my hair and not the hair extensions so the way I do it I literally separate my hair and I only take out about this much as you can see this is all my natural hair it has no extensions and then I just clip the rest of my hair to the back so I do this over the bath I just get the shower head and I just wash this part of my hair this really works for me but if you don't want to do it another thing I can suggest is to use dry shampoo this is the dry shampoo that I like to use I just spray it on the top of my hair and then what I like to do is just to kind of like fluff my hair up a bit and it honestly works wonders you cannot tell that your hair needs a wash I also have it in the small travel size so I like to take it with me when I'm traveling so I don't have to carry all my hair tools and I don't have to wash my hair every other day so these are all the tips that I got for you guys and if you are planning to get hair extensions or if you already got them I hope that you are going to try these and it will be helpful and if you want to see more videos like this please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you have any questions or want to know the names of any of the products feel free to leave a comment under this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon